we take a lighter and just kind of go over it just a little bit and then put that on our eye. I will do my top. Oh, shit. <laughs> ah, that was really hot. That did not even feel like it went. It's just cake better now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. For today's video, we're going to be doing how I did my makeup in high school, but I'm also going to show you how I did it in middle school as well. I thought I'd show you both because they're kind of similar, but one, obviously when I got to high school, I added a little bit more flair to it and towards like my junior year, I got a little bit more into makeup, but still not quite as advanced as it is now. So without any further chit chat, I'm going to start. Well, back then, we didn't have primer, or we did, but I did not know what primer was. Eyeshadow primer, so this is how I did it in middle school. So for my lotion, or like kind of setting things in, I would use good old Pons. I'd use Pons, and I still use it today because it's very moisturizing. So I would just kind of start with this as a base. And back then, my brows were, ooh, it was a little aggressive. Back then, my brows were so unruly, like, so crazy. Like, I would have, they kind of tried to do that now, but I would, they would go up and down, so they'd be like triangles. Hopefully this nail isn't distracting because it broke. So we gotta get that fixed, but, I remember the first time I ever had like makeup experience in middle school I was in drama and we were doing like this production or a play we were doing this play and this girl was like come here and I'm like why she's like I do not want people I will not allow people to look like shit and ruin this for us and I was just kind of like Okay, so I like sat there and she like did my makeup for me like I was just kind of like Okay, I guess but you know what I mean like I was little and I didn't speak up much So it was just kind of like weird because the girl was very like abrasive and like we did not want to look like shit And I was like wait Do I look like shit? So for my foundation we would use a lot of foundation back then so I remember like after PE, we would put on foundation and cake on some more powder and everything and think we looked all good and stuff, but literally we're just putting on a mask. But I would use CoverGirl. This was like the first foundation I had ever bought. It is so crazy. It wasn't matte, so now they have like the matte. And I got a really light shade. Oh, this is ivory. Um, I'm not sure if it's porcelain or whatnot, but I would just apply it, like I put on, get ready for this, on this lovely sponge, like beauty blenders, we had nothing. We had cosmetic sponges or the ones like in a circle. And when I first started getting makeup, this one was the one that had the scent and it would give me the biggest headache ever until I discovered there was some that don't have scent and I was like, yes. Um, this one doesn't smell that bad. so. I would apply it like directly on the sponge. Oh my God, this is like memories. I haven't used this foundation in so long. And then I would just kind of like <laughs> wipe it on my face with the sponge. Like honestly, I would build up so much because literally the sponge eats up so much product that you're just kind of wiping it away into the sponge. And I remember I would be like very like violent, like, you know what I mean? Like, or you just use your fingers, which is so sanitary, like especially at school. Like I carry this in my backpack all the time. And I was thinking I was so cool because I was putting on foundation. So I'm just gonna try to just do this with my fingers better. Oh, that's memories. Middle school was like the best, it was the best two years for me. I was very active in school.
school stuff. Like I said, we had like drama, we had band, and I was just loving life. It was one of my favorite experiences that I remember. And it's kind of cool working back there just because I had such fond memories of that place. Um, and being there, it's a little crazy, but I like it. So I would just layer this on, like there was no blending, like this was your blending tool. And once I applied that, like honestly, like I don't even think it has that much coverage. Like I don't remember how I would use that. I would take the powder and just like, like go like that and wipe it all over my face. <laughs> so basically, like, it's more powder than anything. And sometimes, like, it wouldn't match because we didn't know about matching. But, like, throughout the day, you're, like, in the bathroom, you're just like, mm-hmm. Oh, my God, look how, like, Matt, my face is right now. This was middle school. Like, I'd have, like, mascara. Just basically how it is now. I would not touch my brows. I wouldn't touch my brows until I was, like, in my 20s. Like, I know it's crazy to think about, but these were untouched until I got to beauty school and somebody went, no, we just need to fix this. And from there, I was like, trying to intervene in my life and tell me what I should and shouldn't do is just like no ma'am but now I appreciate it not the girl in middle school that girl was a bitch but so then this was middle school basically this was my whole routine I would pack it to school I do it like in the bathroom with my friends and occasionally I would put on lip gloss or like the the tube lip glosses that smelled like really good. It's like awkwardness. That was middle school. To high school is when I started my junior, saw, my junior senior year, I started venturing out a little bit more with makeup and I discovered eyeshadows. So my first two eyeshadows were by Mary Kay. They were like this orange color and a brown shade and they I thought they complemented so well so I would put those on and line my eyes my lower lash line and everything so I'll show you how I did it I don't have that Mary Kay compact because it is so old that I had to throw it away but I have similar colors that I'm gonna be using like this in the viewfinder like I don't know it just looks like long like so defined but I would not even touch my brows, <laughs> like I said, in forever. So let's move on to high school. For my eyeshadow, I'm just gonna pull from this. I would get like an, let me show you. Let me show you. So I would get an orange like this. It came in the compact. Yeah, like this one and like a dark brown. So I'm gonna use these two. And did we have brushes back then? Look, we had good old little makeup sponges so we did not prime our eyes at least I didn't because we weren't all about that like my sister wasn't into makeup she was more like a tomboy so once I got into it you know it was on my own type of figured things out so I would just take like this orange shade right here and just like put that right here I actually modeled this after like a character in a novella um god i don't remember the novella's name but i remember the character her name was like leonora and she was like so badass and she like wanted revenge and stuff and i was like yes high school so now i'm grabbing a brown and just kind of adding it right here and i'm sorry if i'm talking really fast like i don't really do talk through videos so I'm a little nervous I don't know like I just don't know what to say honestly so for my liner I would do this Maybelline expert wear and it's crazy because this brings back so many memories on its own like the payoff is not that great like 
I have to push down it to give me payoff. So we take a lighter and just kind of go over it just a little bit and then put that on our eye. I will do my top. Oh shit. <laughs> Ow, that was really hot. That did not even feel like it went. It's just cake there now. Like, it wasn't like a precise line or anything. I would never like wing out my eyes or anything. Then I would leave it just like that and then I would do my lower lash line as well. Like very heavy. I was kind of like in a wannabe emo kid. I had black hair, I had bangs, I would listen to like My Chemical Romance, um, Sun 41, You Found Glory, and I was just like, yeah, I'm so cool. It's so crazy because this is like how I would do it. Like, look how tiny my eyes got. Like, so on the rare occasion of occasion, the rare occasion. On the rare occasion, I would put on bronzer. Like, this was how pale I would be all the time. No wonder I did not have a boyfriend in high school. Um, I would use, like, some bronzer. I think I would use bronzer or just blush. But for the sake of this, I'm just going to do bronzer. And I would use whatever brush it came with. And just barely, like, touch. For mascara, I would use the Maybelline Great Lash, but I don't have that one because that one really sucks. I'm sorry for people who like it, but I tried it again and I was like, why did I like this? So I'm just going to use my own mascara, so I would just put on mascara as usual. And I do not think I put it on my bottom lashes, so I would just do my... Ooh, this is crazy. So then for like lip gloss or anything, I would not use like lipstick or none of that until like later. So I would use lip gloss all the time. So I just bought this lip gloss. This isn't the stuff I would use. I'd probably use, um, what's that one? That's a chapstick one. I don't remember, but this is going to be. Honestly, this is probably why I would use like the tubes. Ew. This is so gross, my eyes. I just slather this shit on. So basically, this was my look in high school. God, I can't even look. It's so gross. Like, but these are like the awkward phases where we can show how far we've come. Um, I thought I looked so good back in high school because I did my makeup a little bit, but I didn't do brows or anything. And this was me in high school.